top 10 Air Jordan 1 mids of 2020. That's what we're gonna be discussing today. And as you guys know, the Jordan 1 mid had a very, very, very strong year. So many colorways were released. I wanna say it was almost like a record number of Jordan 1 mids. So if you wanna use this video for research purposes, maybe you're looking for a pair of Jordan 1 mids for yourself, or maybe you just wanna know what were the best colorways, at least in my opinion were, or if you wanna know what the resale value is, we're gonna be going over that as well in this video. With that said, let's quickly uh, let you guys know we did do the giveaway for these right here, the Jordan 1 Gold Metallics. The winner was chosen in the last video I uploaded. So check out the last video, the Jordan 11 Jubilee review to see if you won and talking about giveaways we are currently giving away these winner will be announced on Christmas Day these are the Dior Air Force One Lows a custom Nike ID I had done and they look really clean and I just want to give back to you guys this Christmas season so the link to enter this giveaway will be in the description and in the pinned comment best of luck to everybody so as I mentioned earlier there was a record number of Jordan 1 mids released this year and as much as I wanted to include more than 10 in my top 10 it's it's just physically not even possible. So we're gonna quickly just run down some of my honorable mentions and we'll jump right into the list. We have the Air Jordan 1 Mid Arctic Shadow. We have the Barely Orange Woman's Air Jordan 1 Mid. The Homecomings, the Jordan 1 Mid SE Multicolor, and the Royal Mid Ones that released back in January, which I almost forgot about because they released on January 2nd. And two more, we have the Nike Swoosh On Tour. But the last honorable mention is a, uh, the Air Jordan 1 Chicago White Heel. Yeah, it was probably one of the most popular releases of this year because it's the Chicago, Chicago colorway, but it's just not in my top 10. There's another pair that is though. Oh yeah, and we are going to do a giveaway in my top 10 series for the end of the year. So if you guys wanna enter the secret giveaway for my top 10 videos, make sure you guys watch the full video so you can enter to win a babe face mask. Coming in at number 10 are the Air Jordan 1 Mid Maroon, AKA Dark Beetroot. So this was a woman's exclusive Jordan 1 Mid that released a few weeks ago. If you're looking for them in a size 10 men's equivalent, which is 11.5 women's, you're looking at about 270 Canadian dollars. So uh, yeah, these released back in October slash November of this year. And one of the really cool things they did with this woman's exclusive Jordan 1 mid is they included like these extra access accessories, some jewelry going down the middle of the laces. So these are actually like lace locks, or I think the top one is a pin, but they're like kind of lace locks that go on the shoe. They come on the shoe when you buy them. And it's something really cool that we really haven't seen too often. I think the most recent time besides this was maybe that Jordan 1 mid from the Fearless pack that had like a watch on it. So this colorway and color blocking is really fire. Maroon is like the go-to fall color for a lot of people. And the fact that they use this color blocking makes me wish they did more Jordan 1 mids like this because these turned out really well. Coming in at number nine is a sneaker that would look fire with the outfit I am wearing today and it's actually a pair of sneakers i'll be reviewing tonight on the channel so if you guys want to see a jordan 1 mid review make sure you guys subscribe but our number nine slot is the air jordan 1 mid shadow these right here are surprisingly not like a complete replication or like a duplicate version of the shadow one highs now this year they did release a royal and a bread that were pretty much the same thing as the high top version with very small changes but these shadow mids actually they changed quite a bit. Like if you look at the back tab right here, the back leather, uh, it's white panels. Usually it was, it's black on the high tops. And it's kind of refreshing to see this color blocking. Uh, it's kind of cool they didn't go for the exact copy of the high top version. Cause that's one thing the mids are often referred to as basically like the poor man's version of a high top. So it's not trying to bite off the highs. It's really, this at least this mid top is trying to be in its own lane. Now these did sit in some regions. I actually ended up buying this in a size 11.5. But if you find these in store, definitely worthwhile to pick up because resale right now is actually looking at about $260 Canadian. Uh, these released on October 12th and I actually walked in and found this very last pair in the Nike store before Toronto got shut down again. But yeah, I'm really curious because they didn't release like a replication of the Shadow One Highs in a mid top version this year, but they did the Royals and the Breads. Will we see a Shadow duplicate come next year in 2021? And honestly, 
I wonder what they're gonna do with the, the mid top ones in 2021 because they pushed the mid so hard this year. Coming in at number eight is a sneaker I also reviewed on my second channel, Sneaker Talk 365, and that is the Camo Air Jordan 1 Mid. Camo is typically not something we see very often on retro Jordans, especially on like the Jordan 1. And I think they did a really, really good job with the Camouflage Air Jordan 1 Mid. It has like this black toe color blocking. It just has the right amount of like subtle flex in a sneaker that doesn't use super bold colors. Even the camouflage on the back is kind of like a, a faded camo. It's not a super saturated look. And uh, I think they did a really good job on this. This isn't a Jordan 1 mid that's trying to be like a high top. This is a just a really good Jordan 1 mid with a camouflage upper. And I love camouflage and I'm sure a lot of you guys love camouflage too. And these were released back in March of this year, spring. And uh, the releases this year, of course, have been delayed and staggered and just a complete mess. So it might not have come out in March in your region. And they're currently reselling for about 250 to 270 Canadian dollars. And by the way, I'll leave links to the Jordan 1 Mid and other Foot Locker stores and stuff in the description down below so you guys can see what they currently have right now. So click those links, they're affiliated. Coming in at number seven, this one might be a little controversial because it technically hasn't yet released, but it's supposed to come out this year. It's supposed to come out this year. This technically like within the next two weeks because it's gonna be 2021 in two weeks. Before our number seven slot, we are talking about the Air Jordan 1 Mid Royal. These are probably gonna be the uh, the last Jordan 1 Mid of the year and I'm really, really looking forward to this pair coming out. I love the Royal Air Jordan 1 High and this is what I mentioned earlier where it's like a duplicate version of the high top just with some very subtle changes around the lace area. It's a really clean colorway. If you love the high tops but don't love the resale prices on the high tops, this mid top is going to be the go-to alternative colorway or alternative sneaker pickup for you. And I don't know the resale because it's not out yet, um, but because the bread ones aren't reselling for too much, I don't feel like these will be reselling for a crazy amount either. Coming in at number six. So we just released a Air Jordan 1 mid news video talking to you guys about the rest of the ones coming out this year. And I got some flack for not putting it on my list, but because this sneaker already released in many regions and I didn't know about it. We're talking about the Air Jordan 1 Mid Wheat, AKA Desert Ochre. I don't know why a lot of sneaker blogs call these wheat because the color of wheat is associated pretty much with the Timberland colorway and uh, it's it's more of like an orange colorway, much more like a, like a fall leaf from a tree. I love this colorway, it's a woman's exclusive, so if you're a Bigfoot gang, it's gonna be uh, too small for you, but if you guys do like these, uh, a size 11.5 women's or a 10 men's, they're currently going for, uh, well, I don't have the amount on the top of my head right now, I'll have them come up on screen. But that's the current resale value for these, I don't think it's too horrible. These sneakers actually released about a week to 10 days ago. A subscriber of mine DM'd me, gave me the link to buy them and everything but they were out of my size so shout out to the subscriber and all the other homies out there who look out for me and send me links for when new sneakers drop so yeah i'm kind of on the hunt for these but not really i really just want to copy these for retail that's pretty much my mindset when it comes to a lot of the mids i want to pay a retail or if i can get them for a review early for you guys i'll pay resale but yeah i love this colorway it's absolutely perfect for fall and winter now before we get to number five we have another honorable mention now this honorable mention would honestly be number one on my list however it would was the most limited Jordan 1 mid of the year. And for that reason alone, I can't put it on the list in good conscience because if the public never had access to buy it, does it really deserve to necessarily be on the top 10 of a of any list? I mean, if it, you know, if, if you literally had a 0% chance of buying it, that's just not fair. So we have to have it as an honorable mention. And that is going to be the Air Jordan 1 mid X Clot Red Silk. So these Jordan 1 mids were actually limited to one pair at least as, I, as far as I know when it concerns the public. So these were actually released to celebrate Chinese New Year and they were a giveaway item actually, a giveaway sneaker exclusive to uh, Juice. Juice was a sneaker store or a store uh, in LA and they had a Chinese New Year night market. So you just had to enter the giveaway, I believe in person, you had to pick up a ticket and then uh, and then yeah, it was back in January when these, these sneakers released. I had no idea these sneakers actually released until I was doing research on all the colorways that dropped this year. So if they had released these, I'm sure they would have sold out instantly. I mean, the Jordan 1 mid clot from last year from the Fearless pack, those resell for like 500 Canadian and they're probably one 
of the most sought after Jordan 1 mids of all time. So this alternative red colorway, which is amazing in every single way, looks so dope. It's just never released to the public. So that's why it is an honorable mention on the list. Now for the giveaway for the top 10 series for this year, we're gonna be giving away this Bape face mask right here. I picked this up in Japan. And if you guys wanna see my Japan vlogs, if you guys wanna experience uh, some travel vlogs, make sure you guys check out my Japan vlog playlist. I'll leave it linked down below. So to enter this giveaway for the Bape face mask, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, hit that like button down below, and comment down below your top two Jordan 1 mids of the year. And also include your Instagram handle in the comments and follow me on Instagram at sneakertalkca. The current value of these things is about $150 to $180 Canadian. So if you want to flex on people, uh, but still, you know, be smart about flexing with a face mask, make sure you guys enter the giveaway. On to number five. Number five is the Chicago Black Toe Air Jordan 1 Mid. Now these sneakers got a lot of extra hype and attention because they're released around the same time, maybe a couple weeks after when the Last Dance documentary about Michael Jordan came out. Now that was a big deal in itself. A lot of the retro OG Jordans, uh, the resale values shot up, just shot up like crazy, especially the ones. But these mids also released around the same time and if you can't under, you can't understand, if you can't afford or just can't justify the crazy prices on Chicago One Highs, the, these mid tops were a really great alternative shoe. Now the current resale for these is about 280 Canadian dollars. And uh, I remember selling at least three or four of these on eBay for like 220 during the summer. So the value has gone up a pretty decent amount. And if you're not a fan of those high resale prices for those mids, they did release the Chicago White Heel, which I mentioned as an honorable mention earlier in the video. So those are going for not as much, they're going for about 200 to 220. Uh, really great alternative to the Chicago One Highs as well. On that note, I actually have a pair right here, which I will be reviewing on the channel later this week. So subscribe if you guys wanna see the review for these. All right, on to number four. This is one of my favorite sneakers that caught me off guard this year when it comes to the mid top and it's the Air Jordan 1 Mid Union Blue. So they released a few other colorways which I'll get into in a second. These look really clean. I, I love the way they look. Um, I like the fact that they use some premium suede material on it. I dislike the fact that they have like this canvas material on the toe box area. Not too crazy about that, but a really clean colorway and overall it's just a really good shoe. Uh, even if you weren't going after the high tops, these mids look really dope. Now, there's two other ones they released this year with that Union vibe, and that is including these right here, the Black Toe Mids or the, the Red Jordan 1 Union Mids. Now, the problem with these, and the reason I didn't include them necessarily on my top 10 list, is because of the igloo color. This green color right here, in pictures it showed gray. It really looked gray online, but in person, this green, I'm not really a fan of it. So the blue had to take its spot out. And then there was also a court purple one that released for all my people who love purple sneakers. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna include that as an honorable mention as well. But yeah, the blue ones, they look really clean. They get that union uh, kind of look, that nickname, um, because of the contrast stitching on the tongue right here, which is one thing you'll, you know, can compare to the high tops. And then the way the color blocking is, is very similar to the high top version as well. The union mids released during the summer. I think this was a July release and the resale value is not crazy at all. It's about 190 to 210 Canadian. So not too much of a retail, because even the retail price for these was upped compared to normal. Coming in at number three on our list are the Air Jordan 1 Mid Band. Yes, the bread Jordan 1 Mid of 2020. Um, they never released a high top version, unfortunately, not another retro, but the mid top version, a very, very fire colorway. If you love Jordan brand and anything one related or just Jordans in general, this is a sneaker you'll probably like. The fact that it's a mid cut though is reason enough for a lot of sneaker heads to stray away from this shoe. But if you don't mind the fact that they're a Jordan 1 mid, you'll really like these sneakers. This is probably one of the best entry level sneakers right now in my opinion that you can buy if you are just getting into shoes. And if you're already building like somewhat of a collection, maybe around Jordan 1 mids or just Jordan 1s in general, this red version is a really uh, good alternative to the high tops, which resell for a lot of money right now. From what I can see, current resale for these is between 200 and 230 Canadian. So it's still in that affordable price point for Jordan 1 mids. I would expect these to raise and get higher and higher and higher as the months go by. 
But right now, if you want these, now is a really good time to buy them before prices go up. Coming in at our number two slot is the Air Jordan 1 Mid Laser Orange. Now, Jordan Brand has released quite a few other Laser Orange sneakers throughout this year, but this mid top version is probably one of my favorites. I really like the threes, but these mids, they're fire, man. And they really don't release uh, many Jordan 1 highs in a yellow color scheme. So these kind of have a fusion of the black toe, that Chicago white heel, and this laser orange color colorway all in one. One thing I really, really like about this sneaker is the materials. The materials are really nice. This is actually a premiums woman's release this year. The resale value is kind of high actually for the smaller sizes. The men's sizing, at least like this is an 11.5 women's, they're going for about 260 to 300 Canadian dollars. I did pay resale for these on StockX. Really, really nice colorway. I will be reviewing these, so I don't want to get into too much detail, but review for these soon on the way. So subscribe with notifications on. And uh, yeah, that is my number two slot, the Laser Orange Jordan 1 Mid. All right, on to number one. And number one, I have a small little story time um, related to eBay. So I'll tell you guys the story. Maybe you can guess what sneaker I'm talking about as I'm telling you about the shoe. This is a sneaker that released back, I'm looking at the date right now, June, June 9, 2020. That was the official release date. As you guys know though, for Jordan 1 Mids, there really isn't always a confirmed release date or like a specific release date for Mids. They kind of just release them out into the wild during a certain like certain time of span so these released over the summer and I ended up buying I think four to five I think I think five pairs of these of these Jordan 1 mids and I resold these pairs on eBay for about 220 to 240 dollars at most now the very last pair I kind of just wanted to get rid of so I sold it for about 200 dollars and then because of corona the package took so long to get to the buyer uh, I'd say three weeks and the buyer was super super impatient so much so that they filed a dispute with me on eBay Which I ended up losing so even though I had sent the sneakers to the buyer on eBay as quick as I could Including the tracking number as well because the package took longer than three weeks to arrive eBay sided with the buyer of the shoes. So the buyer ended up getting the shoes two days after he won the case, and then he also got his refund as well. So I'm now out currently about $220, including the shipping. So I'm out $220 and I'm out the pair of shoes because the buyer was so freaking impatient, bro. Uh, if you are buying shoes, please understand their shipping delays. I basically got scammed out of $220. I still have to get my money back. I'm still talking with eBay. It's quite the headache. We are talking about the number one slot, the Air Jordan 1 Mid Light Smoke Gray. So as I mentioned in that brief story, I sold my pairs for about 220 to 250. Right now, they are currently going for, guess how much they're going for? I regret selling all my pairs so much already. I made some decent money, but now they're going for 460 to $500 Canadian, and I just feel like an idiot Bruh. because that's hundreds of dollars I could have made extra if I just held on to the shoes a few more months. Okay, maybe like four more months or five more months. Damn, bro. Have you guys ever experienced that? You sold shoes way too early and the value just shot up dramatically? Because that is double the value of the shoe in less than half a year. But yeah, this Jordan 1 mid right here is not trying to be a clone of a Jordan 1 high that released. Maybe you can compare it to the Dior's, uh, but this is such a wearable colorway. The white and gray combo on this looks super clean. The Jordan 1 high Dior's, those got so much love and attention this year that I think this was like, the closest you could get uh, to that look, but with the mid tops. So yeah, that's my number one pick. If you guys made it to the end of the video, do me a huge favor and hit that like button down below and enter the Bape Mask giveaway. Just comment down below your two favorite Jordan 1 mids of the year. Maybe it was something you purchased. Include your Instagram username. Best of luck to everybody for this giveaway. And of course we have the Dior Jordan 1, Jordan 1, Jordan 1 Low Inspired. Air Force will know, linked in the description down below as well. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think about my list as well, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.